The presumptive Republican nominee warned there would be a, quote, bloodbath. Well, here we go again with the Charlottesville good people on both sides, proud boys, stand by. I'm going to incite an insurrection bull crap again. I appreciate you guys all being here. Make sure you follow me on all these platforms you see listed up here. I am Ty Smith, Modern Renaissance Man, and welcome to my channel. I appreciate you guys all taking your time out of your day to view this video here. Don't forget to double check and make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. Also, hit the thumbs up button so that this video can be circulated within the YouTube algorithm. No, it has nothing to do with you liking me or liking the video. It has everything to do with if you continue to hit that thumbs up button, YouTube will continue to recommend my videos to you and it will push the video out in the YouTube world so people can view this video to see that there's a lot of people out there that looks just like me who thinks like me, which is rational and logical, who don't fall for the BS. What BS am I talking about? I'll tell you what BS. I did a live coverage of Donald Trump speaking in Ohio the other day, right? He mentioned that if, oh my God, y'all, he mentioned, he's talking about the auto manufacturing. If certain things don't take place, if he's not elected to where he can pretty much get in there and make sure that the American people are not going to be duped, it's going to be a bloodbath. In other words, it's going to be a huge loss. And of course, they're going to take things out of context. Who am I talking about in particular? Oh, you know, race hustling trying to make himself relevant again, Al Sharpton. Al Sharpton goes on here, and he gets with Warnack and try to blast Trump for the bloodbath threat. And they're taking this completely out of context, just like they did when they claimed that Donald Trump incited an insurrection because he told them to go down there and peacefully protest and let their voices be heard. Listen to this real quick, ladies and gentlemen. I have to ask you about remarks made by his opponent, former President Trump, at a rally in Ohio last night, the presumptive Republican nominee warned there would be a, quote, bloodbath, unquote, if he loses the election. Now, he... Yeah, clean this up. ...claimed he was talking about the car industry, but repeated the word several times. He also said some migrants aren't people. At another point, he called them animals. Why did he call them animals? Why? When he said it was going to be a bloodbath, what was he referring to? We're going to keep this going. What's your reaction to these comments, Senator? Well, you know, my Angelo said, when someone shows you who they are, believe them the first time. Well, Donald Trump has shown us who he is time and time and time again. By doing what? And we ought to take him seriously. Uh, this is the insurrectionist president. This is the man who egged on the most violent insurrection on our capital uh, or attack on our capital since the War of 1812. Actually, no, sir. You got that completely wrong. So the reason why I wanted to show you guys is, is the whole narrative they're trying to drop about Donald Trump. First of all, Donald Trump did not incite an erection. He was never charged for that. He is that that didn't happen. They have no evidence Donald Trump incited an insurrection flat out just a complete lie now there has been an insurrection since 1812 there was one in 1814 right british invaded washington dc and they torched the capital notice i said torched the capital after the victory over the american forces um in maryland they completely torched the capital that's what they did now also also there was one in 1954. Now, when you go back and look these things up, folks, and y'all really have to look through them, shout out to Wall Builders for putting out a whole lot of information here. When you go back and look up these so-called insurrections, you tell me if this is the worst insurrection since 1812 or 1814 or 1954. You tell me. Because stuff got burned down to the ground. These people that so-called did this January 6th insurrection Oh, my God, they went in there and they walked around. Oh, they might have knocked over a few trash cans. If this was an insurrection, it was this, this was by far the worst insurrection I've ever seen in my life. More people were there 
Nothing got burned. Nothing got torched. They went in there. They sat down in the chambers. They kicked their feet up and all this and that. I get some windows were broken, which I told you guys, if there were people there that were being violent, which we saw a lot of that, I get if they want to prosecute them. But we seen the January 6th videos where they were literally allowing and escorting the people in there. It looked like they were going on a goddamn going capital tour. Don't believe me. Go and watch the videos. Go and watch them. Anyway, the other person want to throw their thing in here is the crazy boy sex having wife, Pelosi. You know, her husband got caught. You know, that thing kind of went silent then. Her boyfriend, you know, I'm, I'm sorry. Her husband's boyfriend was caught in there. They both in their draws and stuff like that. About to get hit with a hammer. You know, Nancy Pelosi. She said Democrats have to win the election following Trump's bloodbath remarks. Former Speaker Nancy Pelosi uh, said today or Sunday, the stakes of November election of the former President Trump warned of a bloodbath for the auto industry and the country if he doesn't win in Second term in the White House. At a campaign rally in Ohio on Saturday, Trump called for 100% tariff on cars made outside the country, saying the industry would only be protected with him in office. He said, if I don't get elected, it's going to be a bloodbath for the whole. That's going to be the least of it. It's going to be a bloodbath for the country, Trump said. Now, this says his critic instantly seized on the remarks, characterizing them as a call for political violence. Pelosi, a frequent political foe of the former president, said the remarks highlight how important it is for Democrats that Biden win the reelection. We just don't have enough to win this election because he's even predicting a bloodbath, she said. What does that mean, she said? He's going to exact a bloodbath, she said? There's something wrong here. How respectful I am for the American people and their goodness. But how much more do they have to see from him to understand that this isn't what our country is about? Pelosi continued. Praising Hitler, praising the Russians. Honestly, I mean, condemning our soldiers for losing or dying in the war or being captured in war. Pelosi pleaded with the American public to take the issue into account when they heed the November polls. She said there's something wrong here. So I just say with all respect in the world for voters and their right to make their decision, weigh these equities. How much are you concerned about women having a right to choose or LGBT people having a right to their lives? That's what you would vote for him. Trump and his allies have shot back at the media coverage of his Saturday remarks saying they were taken out of context, which, ladies and gentlemen, they completely 100 percent were taken out of context and let me see if i can pull this up for you guys to see so you can see how it was completely completely taken out of context all right listen to this real quick on every single car that comes across the line and you're not going to be able to sell those guys if i get elected now if i don't get elected it's going to be a bloodbath for the whole that's going to be the least of it. It's going to be a bloodbath for the country. That'll be the least of it. But they're not going to sell those cars. They're building massive factories. A friend of mine, all he does is build car manufacturing plants. He's the biggest in the world. I mean, honestly, I joke about it. He so even right there, let me take y'all, let me see. This is what people like to do. I'm going to just give y'all a little heads up here. This is what people, even when it comes to like the Bible, people like to do this. Don't just give a scripture and leave it at that. Say, say what happened before and say what happened after and give context to it. Trump was not talking about no bloodbath as in somebody going to get injured. Listen the mobile to manufacturing business in our country. Think of it. Went to Mexico. China now is building a couple of massive plants where they're going to build the cars in Mexico and think, they think, that they're going to sell those cars into the United States with no tax at the border. Let me tell you something to China. If you're listening, President Xi, and you and I are friends, but... He understands the way I deal. Those big monster car manufacturing plants that you're building in Mexico right now, and you think you're going to get that, you're going to not hire Americans, and you're going to sell the cars to us now, we're going to put a 100% tariff on every single car that comes across the line, and you're not going to be able to sell those cars. If I get elected, now if I don't get elected, it's going to be a bloodbath for the whole... That's going to be the least of it. It's going to be a bloodbath for the country. That'll be the least of it. But they're not going to sell those cars. They're building massive factories. A friend of mine. So even with this right here being shown, ladies and gentlemen, you have to ask yourself, 
What is it that Donald Trump was talking about? Here we go again, trying to make it seem like Donald Trump was some shape, form, or fashion trying to incite some type of violent movement if he don't get elected. They're trying to make it like Donald Trump said, if he doesn't get elected, it's going to be a bloodbath. Like people are just going to break out. It's going to be start fighting, civil war. They're making it like this is what it's about. Completely not. This is why I said I'm not a Republican. I'm not a Democrat. I listen to things that everybody say. I listen to people from the left, listen to people from the right. I'm going to formulate my own idea. You cannot tell me that you guys just watched this video. And you're going to take what he said right there and say that he was inciting some shit from a fashion that there's going to be violence if he's not elected. Then you want to try to end up tricking people because y'all, they think y'all are dumb. LGBTQ people, they think that you guys are dumb. So now they want to try to throw that in there too. Look what, look, he don't even want y'all to have rights. Look what he's doing to LGBTQ. So what they want to do, they want to throw y'all in the mix. It's like instigating. It's, a, it's That's all they're doing. They're instigating, ladies and gentlemen. I told you, I learned a lot of things from how I grew up. I used to have a friend, cool guy, whatever like that. If he got beef with somebody, he has beef with them. Me and him don't got beef with them. Only he does. So what he used to do sometimes, he used to say, yeah, and my boy Ty, he does it. Oh, wait, whoa, time out. No, wait, what do you mean Ty? Don't you? No, 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 no. That's between you and him. That has nothing to do with me. That's what I'm saying that for. Don't try to instigate things in a way to put me on your team. Because you got beef with somebody like that. And that's what they're doing right now. First of all, they took what he said way out of context. And then they want to try to throw LGBTQ in there to get them all roused up because they think that y'all are stupid. Y'all just going to respond by being mad and say, yeah, we can't stand Trump. Look how violent he is. And then warn it. My Angelo said, when someone shows you who they are, believe in the first time. What did Trump do? What did he do? With his whole presidency, what did he do? And again, some of you that are out there trying to say that Trump incited an insurrection, show me how. He has his tweets. Show me how he incited that. When he said go down there and back our boys in blue and go down there and peacefully protest, let your voices be heard, how is that like code for go down there and storm a building? Come on, man. Now, again, people that acted off their own impulse and all that, y'all, there's so many videos out there. Y'all get to see that this whole thing seemed to have been some strange, huge psyops. You can call it conspiracy theory all you want to, but there's plenty of videos out there on several channels showing y'all about pipe bombs that's been planted, definitely not by no regular American people or anything like that. You get to see people being escorted through the Capitol and only thing is that y'all don't understand is that if they keep on repeating things over the internet and saying these same words over and 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 over again, you will start to do it too. It's no different than you learning and knowing about a song that you never heard in your life because it kept being played all over again. Ty, give us an example of what you're talking about. What is that? Folgers. I never once purposely listened to the Folgers song, the Folgers music in my life. Not purposeful. They played it so much in commercial. They played it so much in the workplace and all that. It got somehow your subconscious pick up things that you don't have to pay attention to. And now the best part of waking up is Folgers in your cup. Dun, dun, dun. Never, never studied the song, never even wanted to listen to it. But because they played it so much all over again, it ended up getting picked up by your subconscious. Okay. So, Ty, what are you saying that for? If they keep on going around insurrection, 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 what do you think everybody's going to call it? An insurrection. You can just call it just a massive trespassing. That's what it was. If you don't even want to call it that. Breaking windows and everything, yeah, property damage. But an insurrection? And that's the best they can do for, for an insurrection. Look at the past insurrections and see what they consisted of and compare it to January 6th. Please. January 6th looks like a, a, a newborn puppy compared to the freaking massive wolves those past insurrections were. Those were real insurrections. This right here, massive trespassing. Now, what if we was just switched it around and put it on all news networks? We're now going to downgrade to massive trespassing and property damage. All of a sudden, it won't be that anymore, will it? Anyway, y'all, I just want to show y'all this to show y'all how much BS people push around and how they can sit there and try to push a narrative as if Trump was trying to say that if he don't get elected, there's going to be some consequences, there's going to be a bloodbath. It's all BS. This is the games they like to play. And I'm going to just tell you, I don't care who's doing it. If the right plays these same exact games, trust me, your boy is going to call it out. Promise you that. I don't care who it is. If Trump did this same exact thing, I will call him out for trying to sit there and throw things out of context and do X, Y, Z. I don't care, y'all. I do not care who the person is. I'm about truth and righteousness, and I'm going to push that and show you guys that as well, no matter who it is. Anyway, 
Y'all, let me know what y'all think of this whole shenanigans that's going on right here. Nancy Pelosi and all that mess. What about, I want to know what happened with the result of her husband getting some from, from, from another man. Yeah, we're going to just, we just going to gonna skim over that part right there, huh? Anyway, question for you guys. Did you hit the like button yet? If not, five seconds. Hit the like button. Please hit the like button right now, all right? Appreciate it. Questions for y'all. Do you think that Donald Trump incited an insurrection back in January 6th? Okay. I want y'all to answer that and let me know, okay? Number two. Do you think that this video that I just showed you guys is Trump is Trump somehow saying that if he don't get elected, it's going to be like a bloodbath of violence, like physical violence? Do you think that's what he's saying? Number three. Do you think that they're just trying to push a whole nother narrative to paint Trump in this bad picture just so they can get him somehow looked at as being a dictator, right? I want to know these answers to it. Number four, do you think Al Sharpton is still relevant? No. <laughs> anyway, uh, answer those questions for me. Get into those cell phones if you don't mind. Let somebody know about this channel that's in your contact list of that phone. Encourage them to subscribe to the channel after they've checked me out, all right? Appreciate it, guys. We hit 390,000 subs because of what you guys are doing. Let's keep it going. Hopefully, within a month or so, we can hit 400,000. What do y'all think? Push this channel out there, and I really appreciate you guys, all right? Looking forward to what y'all got to say about this one. I am Ty Smith, Modern Renaissance Man, hoping and praying that every last one of you have food, shelter, and clothing, and most of all, I pray every last one of you guys are in great health mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. God bless you all through Jesus.